Hey everyone, Dave here, welcome to Dead Secret Circle Overview. So this is not only a sequel to the first game, but also like it's coming from the Go times. Even though apparently it's been like only five years, it seems so far away at this point. Like I always mention we have before quest times and after. <laughs> so for some reason it feels ancient, but it really isn't. By default Go ports are always good because normally they are driven by passion with the developers. In this case, even though it's not clearly for me because of horror, it seems good as well. So Dead Secret Circle is a psychological horror adventure game where a few years after the events of the first game we uncover that there's a new killer in sight again trying to kill everyone and everything around and we have to solve the riddle of the laughing man before he meets us. Since it's not my preferable genre by any means I'm gonna be mostly looking at the features and the performances. From the description it seems to be packed though like a full on exploration of the world that seems to be very detailed with things to do and interactive like they are important to the storyline. There's no action going on because we were forbidden to fight the actual killer, which is the worst to me, like I like to defend myself, but he will be able to only run, hide, like is this type of gameplay. I do hope it's not gonna be overly hard in the beginning, like I don't want to quit after 5 minutes, but we'll see how it's gonna go. It seems very interesting and unique, which is very hard to do nowadays, and I can't wait to uh, be done with this. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Oh my god! Stop already! <laughs> Damn it! I'll be like constantly just closing my eyes. Oof! Wait, this is point and click. Again? Today is like full of them. Hello? Oh hell no. <laughs> um, I'm very much closing my eyes. Like I'm moving forward but I don't really see where I'm going. It's for your own sake of the gameplay. Hello? Hello? I don't know where I'm going. Like, if you want to have a gameplay more than five minutes, then. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going, okay. Yes, I have my eyes open, but... I mean... <sighs> Is it tired to... say that I wish there will be more VR stuff happening? Okay, I'm closing my ass again. Is anybody up here? Yes, my death. Aya, <laughs> Aya, Okay, well, I think something killed me. I mean, I saw his silhouette. I used to worry about nightmares in my sleep. Now I'm more afraid of being awake. Five years ago, Josie Herrera was altered by an experimental machine. The Lunar Dream Apparatus was designed to pry open the mind at every full moon, letting the unconscious flow in. The only other person to meet the machine before Josie destroyed it was me. Now my waking hours are haunted by dreams. Showing me things I don't want to see, over and over, round and round. 
This nightmare is endless, like a circle. But cycles can be broken. <laughs> Screw this already. Like, I want to keep playing a bit more. Stop doing that. I can't. <laughs> you see what's going on, like it's point and click. Stuff is happening, psychological, yeah. It is very much thriller based climate and stuff like that. Okay. No, <laughs> I can't. But at least I see my own reflection. See, like, there's no movement. Uh, okay, I should not be looking at the mirror. <laughs> it's horror, it has atmosphere. The crack fix are fine, I guess, for this type of game. You can kind of tell it's a go port, but at the same time, it's not like an unpolished one. Like, there is some thrill to it. But who am I to say anything about the genre? Like, I just hate it in general. <laughs> Here's the thing, like, moving forward overall in VR games, I wish just the whole interactability and stuff like that should be with your own self. <laughs> because to me, this technology is not only visuals, like, it's being a part of the world. <laughs> Stop clicking. But actually just, you know, being here and to feel like you have some kind of input. Uh, who's crying? Is it in the game or in real life? Like, I'm going crazy. <laughs> From me, you can only see some beginning footage. Like, that's what you get. I have no power over saying what's the quality in this thing and if it's actually good. Like, for me, it works, but there's a very low bar to accomplish that.